Um, so first, I'm going to demonstrate how to hold the instrument. So okay. I'll take it sure. here. Uh, this is called the saddle. This is where you generally hold it, not normally by the neck. Perfect. Saddle's the best way to hold it. So you want your feet <clears throat> kind of at a 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock position, um, just to have a right one. Then you, just to have your feet spread apart because you don't want them to be wide. Just a good stance. Um, you want to hold it out at arm's length. Okay. Make sure that it's standing up vertically and completely. And then you bring it to you. Okay. So it's going to be a little tilted. And you're going to take your left leg and you want your knee kind of here to be the rudder of the instrument. Okay. So that way this shifts it around. Okay. Um, yep. So you have it like this. And you always want it your head to be just right up next to it. Okay, I think for now that's what I want you to try. So go ahead and stand okay. right here. Okay. Arms length. Okay? All right. And then bring it into you. And you kind of do have to move your left leg in a little bit to hold it. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe you move your knee out a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. This hand, um, you're going to want kind of like this to be going on. You want the thumb to be kind of in between. Yeah. And the reason why is because you're going to have to do play this note with that with your first finger and this with your pinky. Yeah, so you want to make sure that your thumb's in the middle so you have that range. Okay. So you can go doom, doom. Um, this hand, all you need to know is you want the thumb touching right underneath here and a little lower, yeah. You also want to lean into the instrument. Yeah, lean in a fair bit more. Yeah, that's good. Uh, also, you, you should, yeah, also bring the instrument to you, yep, and then you can just pluck. Yep, get a little used to that, just getting plucking. And there are little notches in here that are each of the notes. Also, somebody wrote the, key, the string names in there, which they really shouldn't have, but... <clears throat> Uh, we're gonna be learn we're gonna be playing on the D string today because okay. that's what orchestras always play on is D. <laughs> um, so you just play an open D for now. Yep. And then if you look at the first notch, if you hold that down. Yep, that's an E. And then wait, I want you to think what what do you think would logically be next for an F sharp? You would think that, but you actually have to do it with your pinky. Mm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so go ahead and just do that again. Get used to moving between the E and the F sharp. This finger is starting to move down, so your E is getting uh, out of tune. So just work, look at yeah. mm. I've lost it. So this, this little one. And obviously, if you're uh, flat, you want to go down, down yeah. more. And if you're sharp, you want to go up more, which gives more space and makes it lower in pitch. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sit over here just to see. Yeah, 
Uh, so I see a little tense in this hand. Okay. Make sure it's nice and loose. And make sure that your thumb is down. Okay. Just like that. Also, you don't want it peeking out of this side of the base. That way you can reach over to the um, <coughs> G string. Or E string. Sorry. So if I could, let me model. You want this more like, like, basically so that you can go. See how my thumb is yeah. just right here? Yeah. And it's also, like, my, my, it's also like this much length I could do, and then I can also get, so if I was on playing D, okay, and also I noticed that you just let your, you just took your foot away and it wasn't contacting the bass at all, so make sure that you're okay. really leaning into it, okay, good, and model that, and face this way. Oh, you, so, you want the base to be this, and you want your knee a little bit more out. Yeah, so face you foot that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. that's different about the bass is normally with uh, viola and the other string instruments you would go dum 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 bum 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 because um, they're tuned every fifth but a bass is tuned every fourth so you would go dum 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 open next string okay just means you get to play with a lot more strings when you do this game <laughs> than a violin or viola okay <clears throat> okay now that we know three notes, we can play a plethora of songs. <laughs> One of them is the acclaimed Hot Cross Buns. <laughs> so how about, I'll stand over here, and we'll play through it. Okay. So you may, you can start off giving yourself the starting pitch. Okay. And then whenever you're ready, if you could count off. Or I, I can give you a beat. One. One. Actually, that's not bum, bum, bum. Yeah. One, two, ready, go. My, okay. e, my E was sharp. He was sharp, so you want to make sure that's down. And one thing that will help with that is keeping your thumb in so that you're um, behind the neck, your thumb behind the neck so that you can reach up, um, have more extended range. Um, yeah, also you don't have to dampen uh, the note. You can just let it ring. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that again. One, two, one, two, three, four. Good job. Um, one thing they also teach basses is because um, because it's such a low note and it has such vibrancy. As you can tell, when you when you just hit the string that's open, it has such reverb, such a good um, resonance to it. But when you put a finger down, you lose a lot of resonance, yeah. Which is why string players do vibrato, vibrato with their uh, hands. 
<clears throat> so bass plays, bass players especially mm -hmm. do that. Um, that's not something we'll work on today, but something that we would work on in the future is learning a little bit of vibrato because that would really help express the tone okay. and make it sound really good. Um, otherwise, really good. Uh, we got all the way through that. Um, good job. Mm -hmm.